Well, let's head to Victoria, where the state government's fighting to keep documents related to the COVID-19 hotel quarantine disaster a secret. Lawyers for the Premier, Jacinta Allen, are arguing the documents cannot be accessed via freedom of information requests because Dan Andrews has resigned. Joining me now to discuss this, Liberal MP David Davis. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> do you get your hands on these documents, David Davis? A, you know, you should be congratulated, but B, I want to have a quick look at the copy straight away because, I mean, hotel quarantine is still scar tissue, I think, for Balburnians, for Victorians in particular. Why can't we have a look at these documents? You've put the request in. Why can't well, we see well, them? Well, Peter, you're absolutely right. We all remember that period. Um, the hotel quarantine was concocted almost certainly in the then Premier's office or very close to it. Um, and then by July, the bug is leaking out um, right across the state. Uh, hundreds of people died. Um, terrible impact on uh, Victorians, terrible impact on the economy. Then there's the Coat inquiry, Jennifer Coat, and she couldn't come to any conclusion. There was, a, there was something in the water, I think. Um, there was a loss of... Yeah, no one had um, any memory. ..understanding. No one had any memory. There was something very strange going on. But we put in an FOI uh, request uh, in January of 2021, and we've been fighting that ever since. The government under Daniel Andrews had finally agreed to give it across, give across the material, um, back in the middle of the year after a series of court proceedings. So we'd sort of fought them to the point where they're going to release it. Uh, but then they sort of just went mm. very quiet and slowed, and we couldn't get we couldn't get responses. And then bang, he's gone. That day, I wrote to the Information Commissioner and said, oh, I'm very worried that they're going to destroy documents. Um, to the Acting Information Commissioner's credit, she wrote to departments and agencies, including the Office of the Premier, um, which is now obviously headed by uh, Jacinta Allen, the new Premier. Uh, but they don't want to release the mm. documents. There was a hearing the other day. There's another one next week, uh, a closed hearing. And we still don't have clarity on whether the documents will be released or indeed where they are. They don't seem to know David, where they are. David, let me just jump in there. They don't... It just, just, let me jump in there. I mean, is there argument that these documents aren't the property of the Labor government, that they are the property, property of the individual no. Premier, and if not released by that Premier, they, they can't be or won't be released? There's certainly, there's certainly, I think, public documents in the sense there are these particular documents are subject to an FOI request, and in that sense, they're not things that can be casually dis discarded, um, and they do belong to the office of the premier. But the office of the premier actually has a new head now, and that office of the premier has actually mm. got responsibilities not to destroy or damage documents, but but to make them available um, as per a court or a lawful process. So they've got to provide these documents. I mean, this secrecy under this government has got completely and utterly out of control. And the fights that we're seeing now, the long fights, they're using every legal trick in the book to try and block the release of embarrassing, damaging documents that they don't want the public to see. I think where more than 800 people have died, hundreds of thousands, millions of people impacted, that Victorians are entitled to see the truth. They're entitled. They have a well, we right paid for it, to see David. the truth, and that's why we're. And there, there's literally we, we paid for it. tens of millions of dollars here being spent, and and I, I remember obviously all the ins and outs and, and, and the memory loss at the Coat Inquiry. But earlier than that, we were finding out information only by piecing together text messages and and catching the Premier out and what he said in one press conference to the other. Mm -hmm. Coach never got most of the documents that you and I know exist inside governments. Um, what happens mm -hmm. now? I mean, is this going to go to court? Are you going to push it as, as far as you can go? Well, you, you understand because you were there on some of those press conferences that went on endlessly day after day. Uh, but Coat didn't get to the bottom of what's gone on. That's why we want these documents. There are a very narrow band of documents texts, emails, Slack messages um, inside the Premier's office between him and his former Chief of Staff, uh, Lizzie Ratcliffe, and others. And mm. those documents 
we believe go very close to who made these decisions about hotel quarantine. So in one sense, given the behaviour of the government across the whole of the, uh, the Labor government, it's not surprising that they're fighting and fighting and fighting to stop the release of these documents. Um, but it is wrong. It is wrong. They should be in the public domain. Do people just... have a right to know. Too many people died. Well, too many people, close to a thousand, well, over a thousand people died in Victoria. Um, but, but as I said, hundreds of millions of dollars. Just before we go, I mean, he's set up a company, Daniel Andrews, a couple of companies. He hasn't popped up yet. He's getting $300,000 for the rest of his life from Victorian taxpayers. There's talk he might do business in China. There's talk he might get some government appointments. We're, we're almost out of time. What do you think is next for Daniel Andrews? Well, he'll suit himself. It'll all be about him. It won't be about the people of Victoria. It should be about the people of Victoria. And he could start by releasing these documents now. He could release them tomorrow. They could come out and he could make sure that the current Premier, who is now the head of the office of the Premier, releases the documents right. Victorians are entitled to see. Spot on, David Davis. I'll leave it there. Of course, there's the challenge for Daniel Andrews tonight. I know he watches Credlin all that time. <laughs>